Where are you going to? Mummy, I'm going to see my fiancé. Which fiancé? That wretched man. I have told you to leave that poor man alone. You don't seems to understand until you end up like me. But mummy, I love him. What do you know about love? Come and sit down here. Let me talk senses into your head. What is love without money? In this world money is everything. See, I don't want you to end up marrying a poor man, like your father, who cannot afford all I need, I regret marrying him, he is the reason, we are poor. But mummy, my father love you so much, and always trying his best to make you happy, to me what he gave you is the best. Shut up, am I going to eat love, look at my friends, they have big house, big cars, I mean they are very rich, but look at me, poor, and you are telling me your father gave me love and peace, in fact that is your business, if you like go and marry poor person, and end up regretting like me, nonsense. Mummy I think you make sense, I will do as you said, meanwhile let me go and, end the relationship. Go well, my child. Dear, you are here, welcome. Who is your dear? I came to let you know that this relationship is over, I'm too beautiful to marry a poor man like you. What of the love we have for each other? What of my heart? Don't you have feeling for me? I can't have feelings for a wretched man like you. But I loved you. No money, no love, nonsense. Oh God, remember me. Hey Sarah, what do you say about my proposal? Which proposal? About me marrying you. <laughs> You want to marry me, with bathroom slippers, always on your leg, I'm sorry, I am not interested, nonsense. Are you married? No I'm not married, any problem. Then you are the lucky one, see let me go straight to the point, I want to make you my third wife, what do you say? Me, your third wife, old man, like you. I'm just trying to help you, meanwhile, you are old, as well. In fact, you mighty senior me. Get out of my sight. Oh God, what kind of temptation is this? Why am I not seeing a rich man that will marry me? I have become a laughing stock to my mate. Why didn't I marry a man that loved me so much? Look at that old woman that I'm trying to help. Nonsense. She thinks she is still young. Mummy, why did you take the money? I kept on my table. I took it because I'm in my husband house. Go to your own husband house, nonsense. Mummy, what is it? Why are you angry with me? Stop calling me mummy, I'm not older than you, it's time you find any how man, and marry, whether cripple, blind, marry and leave my husband house for me, I'm ashamed of you, all my mate have grandchildren except me, because I have one foolish girl, in fact woman, because you're no longer a girl, but old woman like me, you better leave my husband house, nonsense. Did you hear that? She is still the same mother that said I shouldn't marry a poor man, now she is telling me to go and marry a crippled man, so that I will leave her husband house. Hello. It's often said that, not all that glitters is gold, but few understand its implication, otherwise we would not judge by appearance only. Our God is not a partial God, we shouldn't be faster than our God, who knows the beginning and the end. Remember money is not everything, loving money excess is a sin, and all sins are equal in God's sight, there is no little sin, every transgression is punishable by the Lord. Do you, categorize sin, avoiding the grave ones, and fiddling with, the less consequential ones? Remember that? Every transgression and disobedience received a just recompense of reward. The love of money is a sin, and God hate it. We should be content with what we'll have. We shouldn't be comparing ourselves with others. This is because everybody have his or her own time. Remember in this world what matter most is happiness and peace, righteousness, love, then money will follow. Therefore we should be happy with ourselves what we have, and who we are. Thank you for watching. And please, subscribe, click, that red button there, like and share. 
remain blessed. And remember, money is not everything.